This is Sarah Poff and those art hands. Today we're going to make an African American rag doll in a Union soldier outfit. So let's scoot him over. We're going to take a brown piece of material, going to fold it in half, and I'm just going to kind of pleat it like this. Like that. Okay, then I'm going to have this smaller piece and I'm going to roll it. Then on each end, I'm going to tie. It's a little hard to hold that. You know, you might get you a clothespin or something like that to hold it, or maybe a friend. Okay. I'm going to do it on the other end. Like that. Then we're going to stick it up into here. So this is basically like the girl rag doll for these steps. Okay, now after I put my arms in there, I'm going to pinch right here. Let's see if I get a longer one because I want to make sure that I have enough to go around. Because remember, I want to go around twice because that makes it easier to tie. Like that. Okay, then he needs some legs. So I'm going to divide this out. Each one of these is going to become one leg. Remember, I want to go all the way around at least once before I tie because that makes it easier when I'm tying. Okay, now we're going to go on this side, do the same thing. Oh, I let it go. So I gotta do it again. Sometimes that just happens. Okay, go around fully around once. Okay, and see I tie and then make sure that I have closed off that knot. Okay. Now I have a blue piece of material. Oh, I forgot to cut the head. So a place for the head to go through. So yours should already be done. I just forgot on, the, on my sample here. Don't have the project all prepared yet. Just trying to shoot the video. So now I'm going to put this in. And then we're going to tie at the waist. Let's just go ahead and do the yellow one on this because I have yarn for this. So we're going to pinch it around the waist. And this time I'm going to wrap it a bunch of times because I want it to look like he has a nice belt from the army. So we're going to do several times. We're going to make the knot come in front, whichever side of that you want to be in front. Okay. Now, I think for his legs, I'm just going to leave it and let you size this up. You're going to cut a little bit off the bottom. And then you're going to tie it around each of those legs. So I'm going to cut like that. And then I'm going to cut down through the middle like this. So I'll go ahead and cut the cut in the middle. But then I'm going to let you decide on the length. Because sometimes once you get it done, the length's a little bit different. So you're going to do like that. Now, see on this one, I see his legs. On this one, I don't. I'm going to do one one way, one the other way, and you can decide what you would like to do. So then I'm going to wrap it around. 
I'm going to tie it tight. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to wrap it around. I'm going to tie it tight. Okay, there we go. All right, now I want to do the hair. So I'm going to take four or five pieces. And I'm just going to leave them this length, and then I can always cut them. That one, this one that I did, that's what I did on it. I left it a little bit longer. Then once I got the hat on there, kind of got it like I wanted, then I cut it. Okay, so I hold it like this. I pinch the head together. Like that. Move the hair around. And I always look to see which side looks the best here. Okay, I think this side probably looks the best. So I want to puff up the face a little bit. And then now what I can do is I can cut this off. I can uh, cut the hair down some. Kind of measure how this hat would go on there. Because what the hat is, is I just folded a little piece like this. I cut it down a little bit as you see. And then I hot glue this on. And then I have some little sequins to go across here. And then I have another little group of sequins that you could do here for a belt and a stick that you could tie there for a pretend gun. Now this is uh, what they often did in the Civil War. They would take a little tie, uh, tag of some kind of paper and they would tie it to them in case that they were uh, killed in the Civil War then they would be able to um, have a message sent back to their family because they really didn't want their family to not know what happened to them. All right, this is Sarah Pop and those art hands. I hope you have a great time with this project.